one of the major concerns i am hearing from various people in various companies around large language model usage is that they are not sure how to control and monitor what is going in to those llms and what is coming out and if there is any negative or toxic or unwanted input how to cater to that and how to make sure that llms are receiving only quality and required or in other words authorized inputs and llms are dishing out authorized outputs to the users and even if llm goes wrong and don't comply with the regulations and tries to give a negative output or response to a user there should be some sort of mechanism or safeguard to make sure that user doesn't receive it llm security is an area that we all know deserves ample attention and that is where this tool by meta llama guard can be proved really useful using it is still pain in the back as usual from meta you have to request access not only from meta but also from hacking face and that is why in this video i'm just going to give you a quick overview as what exactly llama guard is and how to use it i already have requested access here to meta and also i have requested access to hacking face to get um, to be able to use this llama guard model so that i could show you in code as how exactly we can control inputs and outputs to various llms so let's wait uh, until they come back with the request i'm not sure how long that would take sometimes it uh, they get it approved within 24 hours sometimes it even takes a week so my apologies for not showing you that but at least what i can do i can sh tell you something um, useful about this llama guard now this llama guard has already been open sourced by meta uh, on december 7th i guess and it offers a viable solution to address the LLM input output vulnerabilities and combat prompt injection. Llama Guard falls under the umbrella project Purple Llama and they also have this GitHub repo where you can download the weights and you can see the code too. As I said, you, I already have requested the access. Without uh, an approved access, you won't be able to download it. Now, coming back to the intro for this Llama, there are a few things uh, which this llama guard can do very nicely they already have a predefined taxonomy and this is a taxonomy which llama guard covers so it covers things like violence and hate which includes content promoting violence or hate against specific groups then there is a sexual content taxonomy so if there is any input or output which encourages sexual acts particularly with minus or explicit content this is going to control it um, so it will make sure that such content doesn't go through neither as an input or output and then if uh, there is a negative or toxic input output regarding illegal weaponry then it would make sure that llm doesn't endorse it and nothing will go in or come out of it regarding that if there is something related to regulated substances or controlled substances like drugs or something like that this is going to also flag it and then if there is anything related to self-harm then uh, or any other health resources concerns then it will try to cater to safeguard the user from it and then if there is any criminal planning involved or criminal activities it is also going to control that one out so these are the six sort of uh, pre-built taxonomies which this llama guard is going to take care of having said that one of the coolest feature which i believe in llama index is that you can build your own taxonomy for example you work in a financial industry and you have fine-tuned or built even built a new model for your own company employees to analyze or talk with that custom llm about your custom company's data which is very confidential and uh, very secretive now you want your employees to not to for example uh, pry about credit card or such information so you can create a custom taxonomy based on credit card information and then with the help of llama guard you can ensure that even if someone tries to ask for credit card information from your large language model it won't be able to get it because there will be llama guard which will analyze that input from the user to see if it violates the taxonomy if it does it won't let it 
go to LLM and if somehow it goes to LLM and LLM returns the credit card information then again Llama card would check the output of LLM and will make sure that it doesn't go against any of the taxonomy. So that is how you can control your input and output through the LLM with the help of Llama card. Now to be fair um, as I said that getting started with Llama card is still pain in the back as you have to request all of these um, approvals from Hugging Face and Meta and then wait for it. Once that's done then implementing it is again another pain because it is quite heavy. You would at least need some um, thing good with GPU memory like V100 GPU or at least some GPU with more than 16 gig or 32 gig of GPU memory. It also uh, needs quite a lot of memory too because Llama Guard is in, in itself is a 7 billion parameter LLM. So we are basically using an LLM to safeguard the input and output from other LLMs. But still good enough and I'm more than sure that this will improve a lot and implementing it will become easier. Now, uh, there are various other things related to it but these were the salient things which I wanted to discuss in this video. As I said, I'm still waiting for my approval to go through with Hugging Face and Meta and as soon as that is done, I'll make another video with the code to show you how actually you can install and implement this Llama Guard with your LLMs. That's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if you're already using it or if you know of any similar product, let me know and I'll be happy to review it. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.